Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to take a look at the the Mixmax 07 1 12th Stab of Hades action figure which is a third party 1 12th scale Deathstroke, soft goods by the way. And this is currently up on BC Toys box, it'll probably be up on Giant Toy later, today or tomorrow. And I've been following this figure's creation on 5k toys on Instagram so that's how I know about it and that's how I knew about it and you can order it at their store as well I don't know if they're reputable I assume they are but I just don't know but the interesting thing about this figure is I think it's loosely based on the movies So if you go onto 5K Toys Instagram, they actually have more promotional images than the website BC Toys Box does. Um, so you get a better look at the figure, some more promotional images. So the first one here is just Deathstroke with his mask on. Again, it, it's more armor than spandex, which gives me that movie vibe. But it also kind of just looks like generic Deathstroke. He's had a lot of appearances in the past five years which is pretty strange how his popularity has picked up in the last five to ten years but he just he's a, he's a cool looking villain here we go the second photo we can see the unmasked head sculpt and that definitely does not look like joe Mangel, whatever his last name is uh but it looks like you know a generic comic book deathstroke but i i really like this picture of it because it shows the texture on the armor and I just, it's just more visually interesting than the flat armor. And I also love to see the battle damage, so it's not a clean, pristine looking figure. Uh, and then you can see here that he's holding a different mask than he was holding before. So he's holding this orange and black mask and on the side is an actual skull. So that's, it's an interesting addition. And you can see here, you get a better look at the head sculpt and it looks pretty detailed. It might be made how the maniple head sculpts are made, so not just directly painted on but uh, a little bit more depth a little bit more detail on the eyes and skin tone and it, yeah it looks really good also you can see some of the soft goods peeking through it's not really a character that needs soft goods just because of how much armor there is but it, it looks better on camera you get a better look of it here you can see that there's no visible joints you can also see there's an interesting texture on the elbow so maybe Maybe the undersuit they're using isn't just uh, like a stretchy black fabric, it might be more to it. You get a better look at the armor here, see more of that weird fabric. I guess it's supposed to look like the chainmail, but it doesn't really. And so here's, we're going back to his classic Deathstroke helmet look. And, you know, it's hard to deny that it looks cool, right? It's a cool character design and they've done a good job bringing it into the real world. Uh, I guess his eye is a bit strange, but that's my own personal preference. He comes with the bow staff, he comes with uh, a, diff a bunch of different weapons. Here we go with the other head sculpt. It looks, this one looks more comic book-like, so you get two options, which is always really nice. And there's the last picture, just another look at that orange, comic book orange helmet skull thing going on. So let's go to the front. So it looks like he comes with three different head sculpts. I don't know weapons at all. So he comes with uh, comes with a bow staff. He comes with a katana. It looks sh too short to be a katana, but it, hmm. <laughs> he comes with two grenades, which we didn't see in the promo images. And then he comes with four pairs of hands. Looks like he comes with fists open hands, open grabbing hands, and dynamic hands. Pretty standard stuff. It's really up to you if you think it's worth it. Now, if you don't have a Deathstroke in your collection at all and you don't want to pay those crazy Mezco prices, this might be a good way to go. If you really love the character, a really good way to go. And if you're just looking for a figure to sort of fill out your Justice League collection or whatever, Batman related, yeah, this is going to look... This is gonna look good. <laughs> I should also mention that on the 5K Toys Instagram, it says that the figure is $89.99 plus shipping. Their estimated time is around 2021 third quarter or early 2022. 
Um, and if we go to their previous posts, you can see the sort of trial and error that has gone into this figure, which is actually pretty nice. It's good to know that they've changed things. They said that the body has been updated and everything. So there's a video showing the figure. It looks, and you know, seeing the figure move in someone's hand, it looks kind of like a beast. I'm not gonna lie. That is uh, a bulky, bulky dude. I think it's gonna look good. I think people are gonna either sleep on it or it's gonna be super hype. One or the other. It can't just be something that people get. That's pretty much all I have for this video, just a conversation about this. Uh, if you like this video, comment below, give me your opinions, give me your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.